Hey guys, welcome to the top scripting assets for February, March 2018. So number one is the Runtime Inspector and Hierarchy. Now I don't know where this one's actually fully beneficial, but it allows you to create a Runtime Inspector or Hierarchy that you can see, you know, when you run your game. And it allows you rather than to have it with just generally in the inspector, you could see this as you're playing your game, maybe for debugging and things like that. And it's fairly optimized and allows you to get all the uh, main scene information within your game as it's running without you, like I said, being in the editor. So maybe when you've, you've built it out, you can check some things just on the fly and you can check different settings as you go along. Number two is something called scene mocap. Now, I don't know how effective this is, but it looks pretty cool. And this is a simple script which allows you to record movements of a game object and convert that into an animation. It can be useful, for example, to record a fall of various objects to inv to avoid having to use physics and things like that. And you can optimize your game and turn that into an animation. The next one is something called GameJolt API. And if anybody's released something to GameJolt, this is an API for a selection of features suitable for online scores, trophies and achievements, cloud data storage, game session logging, and user verification and login. And it's a package which saw, supports all features supported by GameJolt and, and has an easy API written in C Sharp for you to integrate it fully into you. Unity. So if you're looking to get a game on GameJolt and you want to use the extra features that are in that platform, then this might be something for you to look at. And the next one is breakable windows. And as you can see from the little video here, when the um, the little trackballs move down and they hit the glass in the bottom, and it's a simple uh, rigid body sort of simulation, which is specifically defined for breaking shop windows. And, and essentially you can break the windows with a collision just by using a fairly simple script. And the next one is something called The Great Fleece, and The Great Fleece was com a game created in partnership with Unity, and the assets that we use were custom uh, made, and it's got an accompanied course on Udemy for looking to how this game was created. So it looks like it was uh, maybe a robbery or a jewelry store, and you're looking to create this as it goes along. And the next one is Daily Rewards Free, and this is something that's always really um, good and popular within mobile games to increase the retention of customers, especially when if you've got a game that ends up being quite repetitive and you give rewards for doing certain things, this might be one for to keep customers coming back and back and back if you give daily rewards and it's a great way to help monetization and things like that and it supports multiple days, weeks, months, whatever you need to do and it's mobile ready, easy to use, you can integrate it and it comes with several different versions and this might be something just for you to nicely integrate into your game just to add those features and there is a pro version if you want to do use that. And the next one is the Simple City Builder and this is a um, a simple asset which allows you to, like most mobile games, Clash of Clans, things like that, it includes a way to add buildings with sort of functionality, which includes the C sharp code with the Unity GUI, mobile friendly, and it comes with a selection of building framework, a tile grid, nine buildings, which include a time hall, hut, gold mine, storage, and it has um, overlays and the shop with the Unity GUI and it has the kit for creating buildings and it's been made easily. And the next one is the free horror game kit, which is a project for developers who wanted to create a survival game and it in includes a main menu, an advanced in-game save and load system, flashlight system, battery charge system, a collect pages system, health system, customizable UI, modular buildings, free, lots of free assets, fog system, and all the C sharp scripts. So it might be something if you want to get started on making your own horror game, this might be just a selection of scripts, assets to help you out. Next one is called a waveform provider and it's an asset which dynamically generates a texture to simulate waves, making it easy to you. And the main use is with custom shaders. And if you need to customize the shader of the water surface to create lots of different objects, and it makes the task of getting waves really easily. So you can see from the video here, you can sort of modify this and it leaves quite a cool effect. And last but not least is the Maneuver FPS Free. And this is something that you can buy, which is a from a larger pack. And the free version includes one click controller create setup 
uh, maneuver FPS controller uh, script, um, the camera controller script, health sub display, and basic footsteps audio system. And it comes with a custom inspector for all scripts, and the full version has a lot more functionality for Raycast turrets, mobile support, minimap, complete weapon system, all things like that. So maybe if you're looking to create FPS sort of style system, this might be one for you and just try it out and see how it works. So be sure to check out all the scripting assets for February, March 2018 and give a big thanks to all the developers that continue to make all these assets and make them for free. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.